Happy New Year. I'm Christine Gibbs from Estepid Physiotherapy in Governor Square. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Staying a Step Ahead. Groin injuries are among one of the leading causes of lost time from sports. They can be very frustrating for athletes, especially those whose sports involve sprinting and or rapid accelerations and decelerations. To make matters worse, once a groin injury has occurred, an athlete has an increased risk for a future groin injury. As a physio, my philosophy is to prevent injuries before they happen. I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Today, I'd like to give you my top 10 tips on how to prevent groin injuries. But if you're already experiencing pain or dysfunction in your groin area, these tips will help you as well. Number one, warm up. I know a lot of you do not feel that warming up is necessary or you just don't have time. However, there have been numerous studies that indicate that warming up specifically decreases groin injuries. Number two, butterfly stretch. Get down on the ground, put the soles of your feet together, grab your toes, really stretch to that inner thigh area. Now, if you're not that flexible and your knees are up here, gently squeeze your elbows and then relax. Really relax into this pose and get a stretch through your inner thighs. Number three, do a standing inner thigh stretch. Place your leg up on something, lean away, get a stretch through here, and if you want to increase the stretch, lean into it. Get a nice stretch through that inner thigh area. Hold for 30 seconds. It should be mildly uncomfortable, but not painful when you stretch. Number four, kneeling pelvic tilts. You really want to increase the awareness of where your pelvis is. So start kneeling, rock your pelvis all the way forward, and then all the way back. And then stop right in the middle. And then again, all the way forward, all the way back, and then stop in the middle. You can also reverse it. Start backward, rock forward, and then stop in the middle. Number five, side lunges. Start with a nice base of support. Go out to the side, squat, and back. Now, when you get good at this, you can make it a progression. Go to the side, up, and out again. And back. Number six, what I call sumo squats, or just a wide base squat. Get your legs more than shoulder width apart, toes angled out, and then squat back. You should feel the squeezing in your inner thighs on the way down and the way up. Number seven, ball squeezes. Get a squishy ball, place it between your knees with your knees bent, lie back, gently squeeze, hold for about five seconds or so, and release. Squeeze and release. The progression of this is to straighten your legs. Same thing. Squeeze, hold, and release. And squeeze, and release. Number eight, you want to lie on your side. You're going to work the bottom leg of this one. So lie down. You can either put your leg up on a chair so that your bottom leg is through the chair, or cross it in front. And you're going to lift up. Lift up and squeeze. To make this even more challenging, take your top leg up, bring the bottom leg up to meet it, and back down. Bottom leg up, and back down. Number eight, you also want to work your core for groin injuries. So lie on your back, I call these dead bugs. Legs up, arms up, slowly alternate releasing. Only go as far as you can maintaining your back in a neutral spine. If you go too far, your back comes up, that's too much. Even if it's just a couple inches, you want to maintain a good neutral spine with this. And number 10, resistance band adduction. Put your inner foot in a band, stand on the opposite leg, knee slightly bent. Bring the leg in the band across in front. You're going to work the inner thigh of the leg in the band, 
but you also work the balance on the standing leg. So bigger bang for your buck. Bring across and squeeze. Really focusing on the inner thigh and the balancing leg as well. So for these exercises, the stretches hold about 30 seconds each to get a really nice lengthening stretch. And for the strengthening, try to between 15 to 25 repetitions just a few times a week and you'll definitely notice a difference. My goal for these top 10 tips is to prevent a groin injury before it occurs. If you participate in sports that predispose you to groin injuries, or if you've had a previous groin injury, I highly recommend doing these exercises several times a week. If you're experiencing groin pain which resolves after rest, but returns after resuming activity, please seek medical attention. This may be a sign of something more serious. Thanks for tuning in. Join me next month to continue staying a step ahead. If you'd like to get in contact with Christine or the team at a staying a step, uh, a step ahead physiotherapy rather, you can give them a call at 745-ASAP, that's 745-2727. You can send them an email to info at a step ahead physio.com. They also have a website you can log on to. It's a step ahead physio.com. You can also stop by their offices at Governor Square.